Well, be careful if you plan to spend the weekend on the St. Johns River. That's because recent tests found harmful blue-green algae blooms in several areas, from Palatka all the way up to Mayport. Yeah, certainly alarming given how many people like to, you know, spend time on the St. Johns River. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us live along the riverfront. And Aaron, the bacteria can be very harmful to people and to animals. It can be. The St. John's Riverkeeper also says this outbreak is due to a mixture of a couple of different things. Rain, pollution, pollution washing into the water, as well as plenty of sunlight, as well as the warmer temperatures recently as well. There have been some cases where in some bodies of water in the river, people were able to visibly see that green scum. These pictures of blue-green algae are becoming more frequent due to a recent outbreak, according to St. John's Riverkeeper Lisa Reinemann. Water samples from September 23rd through the 27th triggered the alert. There are some differences between blue-green algae and red tide. Both are toxic, but red tide can irritate the lungs, nose, eyes, and throat. Blue-green algae smells like rotting plants. Swallowing it can cause problems like rashes, respiratory issues, and significant problems to your liver and nervous system. One thing it is important if you're out boating in the water that your boat weight can actually aerosol the toxins, and so you don't want to breathe them in. If you come in contact with the algae, wash your skin and clothing with soap and water, keep pets away, and if you're fishing, it's okay to eat what you catch, but make sure to rinse fillets with tap or bottled water, throw out the guts, and cook fish well. And don't eat any shellfish and water with algae blooms. We've also provided a list of the areas that are seeing those the algae on our website at newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.